there. We're here today at the CS50 Fair, and I'm so excited to be talking with Mohammed and Bradley about their incredible final project. So I'll pass the mic right off to you all. What did you all create today, and what inspired it? Uh, thank you. Thank you for the question. Um, as you said, I'm Mohammed, and that's Bradley. Um, we are both freshmen at Harvard College. Um, I live in Thayer, and he lives in uh, Reno. So um, today we are going to present our platform called Pregradence, and uh, Bradley will talk more about the inspiration behind the platform. All right, so what inspired the word progradence is actually a combination of the words performance and grade. So we noticed that uh, on Gradescope, which is one of the platforms we use, um, you cannot see like a cumulative grade, like an overall performance of how you're doing in the course. It just shows you like individual scores. So we decided to like uh, find a way to like, you know, combine everything and show students how well they're doing uh, in the course. So, yeah, we're going to start by logging in as a TF. Okay, so our platform enables both TF and then students to log in into the platform. And uh, if you're a TF, you have a different interface. And if you are a student, you have a different interface as well. So when you log in as a TF, um, you don't need to specify to the database that you are a TF or not. You just need to enter your image, your email. Um, oops. And... Uh, so when you log in, you should be able to see every TF has a list of students assigned to them um, at the beginning of the course. You have your information, your class, and then this is a cumulative report of all your students. So here presently it shows zero because it won't update until you submit this course of all your students for a particular week. And uh, let's say we are in week nine, um, it would, it would, uh, what will be displayed will be the, uh, the, the cumulative of all the students and uh, all the scores from week zero to week nine. So before the meeting, before the interview, we just um, submitted the scores for four students. So we now, we will submit the score for the final student and uh, uh, everything will now go and be updated on the, the cumulative stuff. So let's say we are in week zero and this student did pretty well and uh, it has four and five, three and five and then the lab five on five then let's say they submitted late so they submitted like two hours and 30 minutes late so when we submit this you want to be able to see you want to be able to confirm that you submitted the right things if you made a mistake here you can basically just click back on the person and we do everything and uh, in the back end we we say we do the data um, collection and then you update, you update everything. So when you go now on your home, you wanna be able to see the cumulative report of your entire class, how everyone is doing. So this preset gives you how your section is doing as far as the preset is concerned, um, the quiz, the lab, and then the average lateness. So it collects the lateness of every student in your section and tells you how, um, how late everyone is submitting. And then this per grade, per grade is like your GPA at the present instant, like at your grade at the, at the certain week. If you are in week 9, it's your grade from week 0 to week 9. So um, one last thing on the TS platform is uh, the ability to see their information and modify their password. And um, well, this platform was not that much created for TF, but for us students to be able to know how well we are doing um, in, this, in the course. So Bradley would walk you through um, the student's platform. Okay, so now we're going to log in as a student. Um, we're going to log in as Dan, which is the student whose details we just entered at harvard.edu. We're going to enter their password, and then we're going to log in. So now this is Dan's account. This is the student platform, and on the left it shows you a list of the weeks CS50 weeks and on the right it shows you the cumulative report for the individual student. So this is the PSET score, the quiz score, the lab score and the extension remaining out of the 72 hour uh, extension that we get. Like if you submit late, you can submit up to 72 hours late. So this is the extension that's, that remains. So if you want to see um, how you did for a specific week, you just click on that week, week zero, and you see the information that the TF entered. Um, and if you try, if you click on a week that hasn't started yet, it redirects you to the most recent week, which is week zero, and it shows you information for that week. And just like with the TF platform, you can also view your information, and you can also modify your password if it's too weak. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much what the website is about. And we wanted to add a chat function, 
but we didn't have enough time because we wanted the student to be able to communicate with the TF to tell them, uh, I'm kind of struggling. Let's say this 80 was like a 32%. They, they will be able to talk to the to the TF, uh, but yeah, that that is pretty much our website. Wow, I am almost absolutely speechless. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this website took months, not just a couple of weeks. <laughs> Y'all should be incredibly, incredibly proud of it. Especially you have like these dual interfaces with yeah. different functionality. That's really complicated. And so this is super impressive. I would love to know, like, what was your favorite part about building out this website, or what was the most difficult challenge that y'all had to overcome throughout it? I would say the favorite part in building the platform is uh, learning Jinja and Flask from CS50. Because um, I think some time back I was trying to like walk some walk through a platform like this, but we needed to create a page for every single thing we needed to do. But with CS50, I mean, with learning Jinja and then Flask, we are able to just have layouts and then extend from all the layouts. And uh, that was really interesting. Using an if statement to be like, if someone is logged in, then display this particular platform. If the person is not logged in, and do this this one instead. If the person logs in as a TF, do this. Present this interface. If the student is not like is logging as a student, present another interface. So that was very interesting. I think the platform that um, the aspect that makes us to have a lot of work, like to do a lot of work, was uh, collecting the data and making sure everything is printed, like uh, displayed. Uh, how it had to be. So I think that one we had a lot of headache with it and um, basically we, we went through a lot of steps to be able to have this final design because we started with something not very professional and then we said oh we really want it to look more professional and something that we can really make use of even in CS50. So that's why we that's how we went through and uh, we coded this in uh, like I think 10 days and uh, we were working all night all, like almost every day. <laughs> So that was stressful, but uh, we are happy about the project, the final, pro the final result. Yeah. Absolutely. Y'all should be so proud of yourselves and your soiree. It looks so well done, like the UI, even like the animated circles. That's so cool. Yeah, that um, took us like three nights. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, y'all did it, and this is so impressive. Um, so one final question. I know y'all mentioned it a little bit. This could be like a competitor to grade scope. Totally love it. I would use it. Um, but what's next? Out. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said before, we, we want to add like a chat function, and we want we actually want to extend this to every Harvard course, not just CS50. We want this to be a thing that is like used by many professors, many TFs, like all over like the courses at Harvard and even more universities. Uh, I think it's like a a combination of Canvas and grade school. Right. So right. yeah, Definitely. hopefully we can get to a level where. Know, it's used by everyone. Yeah. Incredible. Well, thank you all so much for sharing. Congratulations once again on an incredible final project. This is so cool. Thank you so much. And thank you all again. And this was CS50.